big thing in my stomach. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we are at the SDSU Broken Yolk Cafe to try their big burrito challenge. So uh, this is a challenge exclusive at this location. So when you're in California, you just gotta do it. It's about a six pound burrito consisting of multiple burritos actually. One's like a normal burrito, then you have eggs, french fries, a whack of other stuff in it. Here are my good friends. You got Mr. Blaine. I don't know if he's gonna do it today. I think he is. We have uh, Heavy D he's doing it today with Clayton. I don't know if he's doing it either, but uh, let's go eat. I should I be, should be good. Maybe at 45 minutes. If not, it's gonna be like 30 bucks maybe, 30, 40 bucks. So uh, let's see what happens. So in front of us we have the Montezuma's Revenge, which is absolutely massive burrito. This is very spicy. I didn't realize that, so we're like, we're gonna die. Um, there's this jalapeno on it, you don't have to eat that. I'll try to save my gut as much as we can. But essentially we're gonna have 45 minutes to complete this thing. Current record is somewhere about eight minutes and 40 something seconds by Miss Reyna. Um, gentlemen, you ready? Yes. Sure. Alright, so now we're gonna get started here just momentarily. Alright, so this is gonna be a little bit of a maybe messy burrito. It's covered in sauce, you just can't do much about it, just the way things go. But in that, uh, gentlemen, wanna give us a countdown for five? Five, four, three, two, one! Alright, good luck. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to what is undoubtedly a very action-packed video. So first off, awesome challenge here, a breakfast burrito only available at this one location of the SDU Broken Yolk. Um, so this was two burritos, it was a little burrito inside a big burrito. Inside we had eggs, fries, peppers, mushrooms, ham, um, kind of like a typical breakfast burrito with french fries more or less and then again they double wrap it cover it in really spicy sauces um, put like pico de gallo things on top there is a jalapeno as well which is not mandatory and yeah that's about it so 45 minutes we're gonna see what we can do again definitely watch this challenge this is one you do not want to sleep on and then check out the end of the video where we have some hilarious hilarious and amazing footage so that everybody we'll let you get to the rest of it Good tasting burrito. Mm -hmm. 
Then we got Derek, Blake, just finishing up. Blake, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. The food is getting to me. We got Derek and Blaine just finishing up. Sorry, Blaine. <laughs> Keep filming, guys. We only have about 41 minutes left. <laughs> Told you should stay around, right? Yeah. I know. I, I don't know. I only have 40 minutes left. Woo, that is hot, though, man. My mouth is burning. Mhm. Mm Keep it up, guys. You're doing good. I'm not eating. Excuse me. Sauce in my nose. Oh, it feels so great. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just burning. <laughs> About six minutes in, guys are still killing it. Let's go, Blaine. Let's go, Derek. Bring it, bro. Derek's finishing up. Wayne's still going strong. We're only about eight minutes in. These gentlemen are killing it. Done. Yeah. So Derek. 
forgotten about eight minutes, let's say about 30 or 40 seconds, something like that. So I think Derek either tied that old record or also beat the old record. Big congratulations, Derek. And Blaine, still going strong, less than a quarter left. Not even nine minutes in. You got this, dude. Keep it up. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. You won't have to end up like us. What is that? The real winner today is I don't think I'm nearly as sweaty as that pizza challenge. That's a, that's a big positive. You're not. No, you're doing well. <laughs> You can't laugh at yourself. We have the, we have the air. We have the air. Flow. We have the air. Flow. It's the beautiful San Diego weather here. It's a lot colder here than I would have expected. I'm from Las Vegas. Everything is cold. Yeah. I come from land of ice and snow. I felt like Rudolph when the Red Sox hit nose. I got it. Yeah. Felt really great in my nose. It was a lot spicier than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm like sitting there like, Ooh. you got it. Remember I told oh, you I was like, we're white. No, 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 no. Blaine is killing it, and it's 12 minutes in. Do I get what? Heartburn? I, actually, I, I don't, but some people do. Do you get heartburn? We're about 18 minutes in. Blaine's doing really, really well. We're seriously looking at like a tenth of the burrito. There's Not bar even. barely anything left. He's killing it. Most of it's just like kind of a little bit of remnants. It's tough to get that stuff. You got it, man. Doing really well, it's going strong. That's right, cheer him on. Go help Catch a power. I basically ate it's when like I was a baby. Out. I was gonna say, I basically ate when I was born in this world. Uh, I was gonna say, whose mother's here? Ask him what your birthday is. No worry, I was, I was a big baby too. That's why I got a big, that's why I got such a big head. That guy. You were a big baby? I was a big baby. I, I, was, a, I was a 10 pound baby. See this head on me? It barely fits in any hat. You were a 10 pound baby? I was 10 plus, yeah. You're double. I was a six, two or something. No, I just eat 10 pounds. No, I just eat, yeah. Is that how you like base your like capacity, whatever weight you are, you just carry that? Yeah. Doing great, about 22 minutes in. Literally just like a handful of stuff left. It's going strong, we got it. If you could see the faces of the people that work here. Yeah, they were like, first it was like, oh, this is cool, and I was like horrified. It was like, oh my God, and then it was like, yeah! Now it's like smiles, because Blaine's about to destroy this challenge. So. Let's go, man. Come on, give it up. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> Let it out. Only in competitive eating will Burp get a round of applause. We are approaching 24 minutes in. Everybody, so came very, very, very close. Mr. Blaine uh, had to kind of call it quits, uh, but very, very close. Sounded like a bite left. Definitely uh, quite the size challenge, a little bigger than we anticipated, but hey, it was pretty good actually. I like breakfast foods in general, and the burritos are always good. So, huge thanks to everybody here at the Broken Yolk. Really cool. Congrats again, to Mr. Heavy D. Congrats to our friend for coming out. He didn't do the challenge, no. but. It was fun watching. It was fun watching? He is the winner of the day. Yeah, you're, yeah he's, he didn't eat, he didn't do anything. Yeah. What do you think? Would you, would you go try it? Yeah, I probably would if I maybe fasted the day before. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. All right, so there you go. So we'll have the next one here. So everybody, thank you for watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed as much as we did. Really cool spot down here. It's kind of like actually on the... Uh, 
what what is it, San Diego State, State, University. State University, University campus? Yeah, the meal plan works here. So it's just kind of out here. It's a really cool, cool location. I guess this is the only broken yoke in the world that you have like counter service instead of like waitresses and stuff. Um, and then the only one that has a burrito challenge versus the traditional Iron Man omelet challenge, which is like a 10 pound omelet. So pretty cool. We're gonna go enjoy the rest of the day. And um, everybody, until next time, say happy, I'll be hungry, and happy eating. What's up y'all? So here we are at Torrey Pine State Natural Reserve, a nature reserve, here with all the boys. Look at look at all these gentlemen. Look at them all. Where's the other one? There we go, right there. That's all of us. So here we are to see some sh They have cacti and all the stuff in California. As you go walk to walk off, it's very good. Before we eat 18 inch burrito. It's good exercise. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go see some stuff. It looks really cool here. It's a lot colder in California than I anticipated. I'm having to wear sweaters and stuff. I was really hoping to be in the nude at this point, but uh, that'll just that'll just happen later. So that everybody, let's uh, let's see some. Oh my God, let's not break my heel. And let's go see some stuff. Look, this is a cacti, cactuses. This is not Canadian. It's very peaceful on this lovely little morning. And it does not look like Canada. <laughs> Back when they left Pangea, this is where it was in Jerusalem. And Jesus walked on this very lake right here. This doesn't look like Canada. Where are we? We're in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, Vancouver, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> Everyone in line was like, oh, oh my god. Was he like like yelling that at him? Yeah, he yelled it out to his dad. Like he's like 15 year old. Uh, it was so weird. <laughs> That's fairly respectful. He was kind of cool. You could do your very similar. Yeah. Holy views. <laughs> I have spoken. <laughs> so this is what I look like in the Republic of California overlooking this great, <laughs> this great big one. I think it looks really, really nice up here. As you can see, we have lots of snow in the background. The <laughs> I can't do it. Look at this. Very nice land here we have. Lots of, lots of, lots of sea and cactus and sky and cliff. It's very nice. It's very nice. Cactus and other non-cactus things. And Look at this, I found a uh, obviously native to Canada and California uh, cactus or cacti. It looks really nice. Um, it smells like a plant. It smells very green. I um, don't, obviously don't want to poke myself, otherwise I would take a bite of it. Because you know, when you're like in the area, you know, visiting these different places, you just gotta try the local cuisine. So I see these growing everywhere. I'm assuming people eat them, so you know. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I'm, I care for my health, but I actually think I have a few pokes in my hand, but that's what it looks like. That's a cactus. Cacti. Look, I gotta get that out of my finger now. And so here we are. We have the Grand Canyon of California. It's very impressive. I love it. Just look at the Grand Canyon. It's freaking huge. It's right by Lake Superior. Uh, it just, it's what a beautiful place. Look at these beautiful views, guys. I didn't know the Grand Canyon with the Lake Superior could look so good. What a good combination. Hey everyone, so welcome to Touring America with Joel. So here we are at Lake Superior. Looks really great just off the beautiful coast of the Republic of California. So we're really close to the uh, Jellystone National Park where they have those great big statues. 
Uh, it looks really, really nice. You can see the water is very, very calm today. Uh, it's a very small lake, as you can tell. And we're actually really close to the Grand Canyon, which is just right up there. You, see the, you can see the glimpse of the Grand Canyon right there. So it's a really a nice place here in uh, California. I would definitely recommend it. There's lots of snakes here. We go look. Apparently they're in the parking lot. Let's go find the rattlesnakes. I look for a snake. Not in my hum no, I catch none one. in my country. I catch so, <laughs> so here we are. Look, very nice land of California. This looks very good. Very nice. Very nice. This is California. I don't know if you can see Mexico anywhere, but we're apparently really close to Mexico. A little further south. Nice place, California. Still colder than I thought it was, but California. We're heading out of this park. Let's see if we can get a high five. Hold on, any of the people. <laughs> Come on, lighting. High five, high five, high five. <laughs> no, reject it. Here, here, here we're gonna try again. Hello, comrade. Are we close to the Grand Canyon? I move the country, get high five. High five, high five, no. High five. Hey! hey. I, got a, I, got a, I got a fist. It still works. <laughs> she fisted. Joel got fisted. I will take the fist. It's okay. Joel.